All right. You are listening to the Lemon Drop Sessions. I'm Will, and I'm here with Jeff. Hello, everybody. Uh, we're rocking and rolling here. We're having a really good time. Uh, we've even gotten to go out and about a couple times. Uh, we did a trip to uh, the podcast is set in Connecticut. Uh, we've gotten to do a trip to Molten Java. We did a trip to Good Eats. Um, to, these are two spots in Connecticut for the Lemon Drop Sessions where we pair music and food. Um, that's another thing that should really be in the beginning. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. you know, so, um, but, you know, this has just been so incredible to uh, get to figure out our own clips, our own vibe, you know, aesthetic with these projects and, um, you know, get to talk to musicians again in a way that I feel is significant. Um, so I'm not going to keep us too much longer. Um, we've got an interview with the country singer Reva Jean. Um, I've seen her perform live a few times, um, and she's got an EP in the works. So real quick, um, Reva Jean is country in Connecticut 2022. Um, we wish her the absolute best of luck. Um, and I can really vouch for this, people. She's old school country in the best possible way. You know, I mean, um, I am not one of those people um, who writes off country music in public. You know, I, uh, I listen to Lyle Love It from time to time. I did have my Johnny Cash phase. When Walk the Line came out, it's oh, true. Of course, I, of course. I, I bought the four I got for Christmas when I was 15, the four CD box set of Johnny Cash and a leather jacket. So you can imagine what I was like easily around that time. <laughs> no, it's... <laughs> um, and I am, I finally picked up the acoustic guitar. So um it was uh it was great talking to Riva. She uh brought her A game. Um so Jeff, do you want to do any country shout outs quick? Uh I mean honestly, uh I, I don't think that uh I could do a better one than you know the man in black himself, Johnny Cash. Uh I would say, uh as a little twist, a focus specifically on his track, uh The Cremation of Sam McGee. Uh oh. Oh. It is. It's very thematic for uh for the Halloween season. I think it's kind of spooky, kind of funny. Um, I've, I've never heard of that. It's nice. it, it it's a song I rather enjoy. It's a, about a there's a couple of artists that do versions of it, but uh, Johnny Cash does have a version. Uh, it's very lyrical. It's almost like he's reciting a poem. Um, and yeah. definitely worth checking out. But about two gold prospectors. Uh, one of them kicks the bucket, and the other one has to figure out how to cremate him uh because the one who passes is afraid of the cold um i'll leave it there and and i think it's a uh, definitely worth checking out especially for the halloween season thank you for that man another gem uh appreciate it totally. so um i will i will throw down with a few few johnny cash uh titles um first of all his show uh the johnny cash show um he did a christmas special um and and Re Reva Jean and her her uh family they're they're friends of mine I've known them for a few years and so I I don't talk to them all the time but I I do love to see them and so you know I I knew Reva was out there doing her thing and so I I mentioned to her that I put on the Johnny Cash Christmas special um and and that was kind of cool, you know, to be able to really connect with someone about that, you know, it's like, because, uh, I mean, how many people really do you get to talk about the Johnny Cash Christmas special with? Yeah, seriously. You know, <laughs> so, so that was cool. And then, and then also, so of course, the American recordings, Johnny Cash, and dare I say, Rick Rubin, oh my gosh, uh, this guy, you know, he's got a podcast of his own. Um, where he interviews Lyle Lovett, and I can't wait to put it on. You know, yeah, uh, definitely. So, um, I guess that's our swag. Um, and I had one more. Oh, please, come on, Will. Come on, Will's brain. 
he's got this song Johnny Cash. Um, I was singing this one a lot. It's like it, he has this line. Um, it's "Let the Train Blow the Whistle." The song is called "Let Let the Train Blow the Whistle." Excellent. Um, yeah, it's it's from the American Recordings. What a fantastic two minutes. I mean, it'll really cheer you up in the strangest way. It's Excellent. about death. It's about death. I guess we got to, we're going to try and wrap it up early so uh, so we can get a few episodes ahead here, um, which is harder than you might think, uh, yeah. podcast listeners. If you're if you're thinking of starting a, a podcast, cook for extra. Uh, um, Pre-planning and logistics are definitely the things I would say to focus on the most uh, in, in our experience and adventure so far, at least. Jeff, you are a gentleman and a scholar, and I thank you. Anytime, my friend. The Sycamore Drive in Bethel CT. Um, Jeff, what are your what's your what's your deal when you get out there? Oh you man, go to the so Sycamore Drive in. It, there's almost not a bad choice uh, right. there, but I gotta say, if, if you if you need just if you're going there for the first time and you need the best possible experience, uh, their Dagwood Burger is their uh, claim to fame. Uh, oh wow right on which i mean it's it's just deluxe uh, smash cheeseburger so it's a, a flat patty uh my go-to is i really love the their onion burger where they they have some uh oh, finely wow. chopped onions in the burger patty itself as they uh sear it for you so it is absolutely top notch uh so, so definitely yeah. the burgers is is where if you if you can only get one thing if you want that initial experience uh, definitely go with one of their awesome uh, smash cheeseburgers. Um, but really, if, if you're adventurous, you want to branch out on the menu, I honestly don't think you could make a bad choice. So that was great, Jeff. Um, real quick, do you know the origin of, of Dagwood? I actually do not. It is a comic book reference. Comic really? strip. Okay. So I pulled it up. Dag, this is, I'm just quoting, okay, from the internet, <laughs> <laughs> capital T, capital I, all right, yeah. uh, um, Dagwood sandwiches, a term so well known, it made Webster's New World Dictionary, 1930, a term that originated in the comic strips in the 1930s, after a comic strip character named Dagwood Bumstead a character in the Blondie comic strip. And that gave birth to the many layered sandwich. Um, people, uh, when this Reva Jean EP comes out, that is our swag shout out for the week. Um, totally. it, it is money well spent. All right. Um, so please click on the interview. It's just shy of 40 minutes. Um, it might get edited a smidge. Um, uh, but, uh, she was, she was just terrific. She brought her A game to a podcast somehow. I have no idea how that works. <laughs> and I've done a few of these. <laughs> um, that's a joke. We're amazing podcasters. Oh yeah. Yeah.